Hey everyone, this is Mina Chantel and today I'm going to share the audit exam experience with you. I took my audit exam on June 15th and that is my first exam. I got 76 and I'm happy about that because I was so nervous if I'm going to pass the exam or not. Um, so I'm going to share my study uh, audit exam study schedule so uh, at that time I was studying for the uh, audit exam full-time I was only studying for the audit exam nothing else no work no university and because that was the time when COVID started so I wasn't even going anywhere I was in my home all day studying for the audit exam and I tell you, at that time, I was studying for this audit exam like six, seven hours. And if it feels like a lot, I felt the same. By the end of the, by the, end of the day, I would be so exhausted that as soon as I go to the bed, I would just fall asleep. I studied for audit exam for about a month. I started, I graduated on May 17, took a break on May 18, and then started to study on May 19. And at, at first it was really hard for me to study because I wasn't in that study mode. I mean, I used to study while I was in university, but at that time I used to do so many things. But now, because the only thing that I was doing was studying, it was kind of hard for me at first to adjust, but then after some time i got into that study mode and things got easier i would say my study routine i would wake up at 8 a.m and then i would do a little bit of yoga like i'm not a pro i'm not a pro in that so i would just do a little bit of stretch and then i would sit down to and then start journaling and then I would go upstairs and then have breakfast and then I would come back and start to study again. And I think around 12, I would take a break. I would take a lunch break and then be fresh for a while and then I would go back and study again. And at evening, I would go um, out at around 6 p.m. I would come out and then go for a little walk just to get fresh air. And then I would come home and then have dinner and I would go back again but at this time after dinner I would not study any new things I would just do a cumulative uh, multiple choice questions and see what I got wrong and why I got wrong so when I said cumulative multiple choice questions I mean that if I studied for like if I studied like for example chapter 7 then I would do the cumulative MCQs of the whole chapter 7 and as I mentioned to you before, I used two materials, Superfast CPA and Surgeon CPA Review. Surgeon CPA Review is my main course and Superfast CPA is a supplement. Uh, most of my study techniques are inspired by Sur uh, Superfast CPA. Mm. With Surgeon CPA Review, um, at first you do an assessment and then they will give you a ready score and then um, you just go on studying and then you build up the ready score and up until it's 75 you just go on studying like that's how the software is built up and I, and I think that's uh, uh, doing a very pretty good job so I would just study and then I wouldn't I wouldn't even try to make a, a perfect score while I was studying I would just move on even if it's not 75 and then at the end like at the end of my study period, I would say, for example, I was studying for audit on May 19 and then I was giving my exam on June 15. So a week before June 15, I just made sure that all this ready score were above 75. Uh, that's the time when I would go back and then study the chapters I was weak at. I would like make more concept, more broad notes and then I would go into the notes and like try to visualize all the concepts i would practice more i would like send emails to the surgeon cp review groups and they would respond me back that's also the time when 
I would do simulations. So I wasn't doing simulations uh, in the beginning. I would just do multiple choice questions. And the, at the end, when uh, the, the software says, now you're ready to do the simulations, at the time I would do the simulations. Um, so many people would say that simulation doesn't help much, uh, but I would say that's for me, that's wrong. I did simulations and I, um, after finishing a simulation, I would make a very good note about it and then see like, because simulations are more, it needs in depth understanding. So I would try to understand why is it wrong or why is it right? And um, have a good note on the sides so that uh, that could be my future reference. So I'm going to show how I studied with Surgeon CPA Review. This is the home page of Surgeon CPA Review and this is for audit. So as you can see the ready score was 74%. It wasn't 75 but uh, I think that's okay. You did a um, score for each section of the exam. And if I go there, I can see the session result. As you can see, in the last week, all, all I did was simulations. More simulation, and I think that was a very bad choice because I couldn't sleep at all. For the first time in my life, I had exam anxiety. So I did a practice exam on 6.13 and I got 80.93%. But before that exam, I did another exam as well. And on that exam, I only got 74.66% and it was on 16.2020. So as you can see that um, my ready score was only 74%, but the MCQs was 81% and the other one was 67%. Thank you all for watching. Please do like, subscribe and share.